Welcome to the theatre of your mind. Please leave all anxieties and troubles behind and prepare yourself for the illumination of your imagination with more Tall Tales and Short Yarns. Created by Timothy Carroll and Eric Camilleri. Well, hello, fellow human. Oh, and also, uh, hello and g'day to members of the Galactic Federation who I believe are also tuning in these days. Peace, man, peace. Uh, look, today's story is an interesting one. I just want to do a little pronunciation before we begin. You see, I find the interesting thing about communicating in such a fashion as I am now upon the World Wide Wonder Web in digital stereo is that uh, my different countries in different places pronounce or say words in different ways. This one's got the word wrath, spelled W-R-A-T-H, which we here in Australia pronounce an anglicised variation of wrath, meaning you shall incur my wrath. My anger, my frustration, but I believe in many other parts of the world, such as the good old USA, uh, they say wrath, man. Uh, But I'm going to stick with wrath for this. So anyway, here we go. Uh, And this one is called, and it's an historical fact, by the way, everybody. Maybe with just a tiny little bit of stretching of the truth. But yeah, it's all true, man. This is the story of the Grapes of Wrath. For you see, it was on this day, back in the year 16... Oh, whatever it was, that the Archduke of Roth, located in the south of France, used his military might and power to maintain order just outside of town, where the local villagers had all gathered to witness a hardy grove of strange new berries which were growing in a field. No one had ever seen such berries before, and the villagers were startled and even panicked as to what they might be. The Archduke cordoned off the area, with his soldiers keeping the villagers back at a safe distance as he strove bravely forward. Yelling, Stay back! Stay back, everybody! These berries could explode at any moment! Onward he pressed as he plucked one of the strange fruit from the vine. He sniffed it before then placing it gingerly upon his lips and tasted it. Mmm! Notes of musk and dark chocolate. A heady bouquet of eloquent zest with an outstanding rhapsody of body and flavor. Hmm, hmm. Let it hereby now be known by royal decree that these strange berries shall from here on in be referred to as grapes. And ladies and gentlemen, furthermore, let me inform you that we is making us something I think we'll call wine. Yeehaw, everybody! Let's get this party started. And that, my friends, is as dead set and ridgy didge as a set of funkin' wagnalls. Oh yeah, mate, you've just listened to the discovery of the Grapes of Wrath. Or wrath, if you'd prefer. Thanks for listening, man. Keep your chin up and your spirits high. Catch you later. The curtain now must fall upon the theater of your mind. But until we meet again, just promise to be kind. Thanks for listening to Tall Tales and Short Yarns.